The Starlink app is the command center for your Starlink system. And in the most recent version, Starlink has actually changed around the statistics page within the app. The statistics page is where you went to look at performance information for your dish. Things like uptime, latency, download and upload throughput, that sort of thing. Well, now it's been completely overhauled. It's got a brand new look and some other important features that have been added to the page that could help you troubleshoot your system. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the statistics page and seeing what's new, what's different, explaining all the new features and graphs and everything. So let's jump right in and take a look. So the first thing you'll notice when you look at the statistics page now is that you have a little legend up at the top that differentiates between router and Starlink. Now, everything that is related to the Starlink data is coded in white and everything that's related to the router data is gonna be in this orange color. And so that's gonna be our first major update to this statistics page in the app. Because previously, all the values that were reported on this page were directly from the Starlink unit itself. So the Starlink dish, as you know, is the modem for your internet connection. So it could do things like ping the satellites, ping you know, the speed test server, things like that directly from the dish itself without involving your router or your local area network at all. So now Starlink is going to be reporting two different sets of values, one from the router, one from your local network, and then one from the Starlink dish itself. And Starlink explains that this can help you aid in troubleshooting. It can be more accurate if you're measuring from the router side because that's the network, that's the part of the network that you're actually using and seeing for yourself. So things like speeds and latency reported from the router are going to be a more accurate representation of your actual internet performance. So as we move down the statistics page, the first thing you see is uptime. Now this isn't really any different from the previous app versions. This just shows you the total uptime percentage for your Starlink dish, measured at the dish. So periodically the Starlink unit will ping the Starlink satellites to make sure it has an internet connection and that it's connected to the network. Anytime you have an outage, like for example, if you have trees or other obstructions blocking your satellite's view, that will be recorded as an outage and your uptime would be lower than 100%. Other things like network issues could also cause outages. And if you press the little button that says outages, you can get more detail because on the graph itself, on the main statistics page, that only shows you the last 15 minutes of activity. That's just useful for getting kind of a snapshot view of what's going on with your system. If you click that outages button, you'll be able to see the last 12 hours of data. So any outages that have happened in the last 12 hours will be recorded here. And you can click on the individual events to be able to get some more detailed information about what happened. Next up on the statistics page is the latency information. So this is another one of the changes that happened in this most recent version of the Starlink app. So now instead of just a plain old latency line graph, we have two lines on the graph. You have one reported from the Starlink dish and then the other latency value is reported from the router itself. So you'll notice you have an orange line and a white line. And most of the time, these are gonna be pretty well correlated. They're gonna be running you know, around the same values. But I think Starlink put these values separately on the line graph so that you can be able to tell if there's any kind of discrepancy between the performance and signal of your Starlink dish and the latency performance of your actual router itself. So for example, if you had some issues with your router or maybe the Starlink cable, it could be possible that the latency values recorded from the router are much higher than that of the dish itself. So you'd notice a discrepancy by just looking at this graph. So besides now including both the router latency and the dish latency, Strength also gives you a median latency value from the router. They display that right there, as well as the, the most recent updated uh, latency value reported by the router. And that happens just every three to five seconds or so, that real time latency value will update. And just like with the outage graph, the latency graph is just showing you the last 15 minutes of activity. And if you want to see more than that, you just have to look at the next graph down below, which is the, a brand new graph that we have on the statistics page, which is latency distribution. So this new feature, latency distribution, is pretty awesome. I really like this because it gives you the last 12 hours of latency information and it puts it in a graphical representation that's super easy to kind of visualize and see how your latency performance has been. So if you look at it, it has a range of latency values going from left to right, starting with zero milliseconds and going all the way up to 100 milliseconds. So you can see 
based on this graph where your average values are plotted. So you'll notice on the graph on the screen right now, most of my latency is under 50 milliseconds, which is an ideal connection. That's a good latency performance. If you had latency values that were populating more towards the 100 millisecond range, that means that there's probably something wrong with your connection. Either you're really far from like a ground station if you're using global roam, or perhaps if you're in a country that's officially supported with good strong infrastructure, maybe there's an issue with your dish or your router. Ideally on this graph, you want your latency distributed pretty evenly and at a specific area on the graph. You wouldn't want it you know, spread out along the graph. That would in indicate that you have very inconsistent performance. If you have something that looks like my graph, it means you have very consistent latency performance under 50 milliseconds, and that's really good. And since this is reported in the orange color, you know that this is information from the router itself and not just the Starlink dish. The last thing on the statistics page on the Starlink app is throughput information. This is not changed from previous app versions. This still shows you your upload and download throughput in megabits per second. This just gives you a nice snapshot of the last 15 minutes of network activity. So you can tell, you know, if you're streaming a movie, you would see that download throughput pretty consistently high or kind of going up and down, you know, building up that buffer depending on your streaming service. If you were doing something like uploading a file, like uploading a video to YouTube, for example, you would see the upload throughput on, represented on the graph there. So that's what's new in the Starlink app. They've kind of revamped that statistics page, giving you more information, differentiating between the router data and the Starlink data. That gives you a better idea of, you know, when you're troubleshooting, am I troubleshooting something with a Starlink dish or is it something on my local area network, my Wi-Fi network that's having issues? With all this new information on that page, you'll be able to make a better determination of what your issue is. If you have any questions about this app update or comments that you'd like to share, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.